hello good afternoon all of you uh, pay attention to the class and let's begin see that uh, in previous class itself i have told you that you people have to join on time but see uh, after waiting for 5 minutes so our class time it begins at 12:45 so i already began my class before 5 minutes and i have waited after 5 minutes also so almost 10 minutes i have been waiting for the students to join and after that uh, how many students have joined only i can see 36 students have joined or 35 students have joined so far so uh, this is somewhere uh, disappointing and all you people just take note of it that if your attendance is not up to the mark then you people have to face difficulties maybe in uh, case of your term work or internal marks so let it be uh, so with this we people are going to begin uh, today with another topic already we people i think that uh, we are about to discuss tenses but see because of some uh, reasons that short of time instead of just completing those tenses we people will just discuss that what we people going to have in isc second already people have done with uh, chapter test second that is unit test second and you people attempted some of the questions also and uh, with this hope today uh, we people are going to discuss what will be there for isc second and uh, already i have told you people to complete assignments also so i assume that you people are doing it you are writing it and you are uploading it so are you doing it are you completing your assignments yes sir ha okay so all people have to take care that you are going to submit your assignments if you are not going to submit your assignments you will uh, miss your term work marks okay uh, so without much waste of time uh, immediately i will share the screen now and uh, we people will go for some uh, material that i have added to this teaching diary so all you people just ensure that uh, the screen is visible just one minute i will set the screen and then yes sir ha ah, okay thank you so if you come here to the teaching diary of uh, division c then you will come to know in additional material column uh, we people have done with uh, this all this material so you people have just completed assignments or you people got that document also but uh, see the next there uh, i have added some question paper that sample question paper of isc second is it visible yes sir yes sir yes. Ah, okay so let's uh, go to this sample paper so this time <clears throat> you people will have uh, such kind of paper and uh, if you see the first question so in first question it will be of mcq okay so this question one mcq having uh, five marks and uh, this mcqs will be based on unit number 3 and 4 so what is unit number 3 unit number 3 is uh, oral communication or, or situational conversation so based on that you people are going to attempt uh, such uh, mcqs and what is unit number 4 unit number 4 is reading comprehension so your questions will be based on these two topics only okay so let's try to see that first question says a dialogue is a dash and you have options a speech conversation motivation presentation so what do you think dialogue is conversation conversation, conversation. Yes, all you people are right those who are thinking of conversation dialogue is nothing but it is conversation so its name itself suggests if you think dialogue so there are two words which two words are die and then another word is log yeah. okay so if you think die what is meaning of die it is usually two two Two. Yes, and log, uh, log means here we people are going to take meaning conversation. Okay, so what is dialogue? It is a conversation between two people. Minimum two people. There can be more than two, but minimum two people are required for having a dialogue. So it is conversation. 
so uh, questions will be like this then uh, second question it is based on comprehension now so here you people will be asked some questions based on this uh, comprehension so first question on this uh, second question on this it says comprehension is the process of dash and uh, then you people have options like uh understanding interpretation interpretation and understanding and none of the above so what do you think b okay somebody um, or some students say it's b mm. c uh okay c also so i will talk about final answer now so if you think that what is comprehension comprehension is understanding but is it only understanding no it is not only understanding it is interpretation also so therefore uh, if both options we people have to choose we people are going to choose option c so mm -hmm. it will be interpretation and understanding so that will be correct answer for this question so usually uh, from your 8th standard 9th standard 10th standard you people have been coming across with one unseen passage and uh, questions based on these unseen passage you have been writing answers so same will be there in reading comprehension but this process is called interpretation and understanding it means that you understand this passage and then you interpret it interpret it means you try to find out meaning from that passage okay then uh, next question number 4 we people are going to discuss it is about uh, dialogue writing again a dialogue is generally in the form of so when you people just try to write down dialogue you will come to know whether the sentences which are used in this whether they are statements facial expressions questions and answers or none of the above what do you think dialogue is in the form of questions statements questions statements yes. state Uh, okay, so here, here also uh, some students see uh, differently, but here I would like to give. It is generally in the form of questions and answers instead of just statements. It is not always statements, but most of the times it is questions and answers. How it is in the form of questions and answers? I am going to uh, describe or will take one example and then we will see how will uh, people. Uh, use questions and answers when we people uh, write dialogues so for this it will be um, option c questions and answers then uh, next question number 4 it is uh, in a dialogue suitable greetings are so what do you think about greetings are necessary optional unnecessary or not expected optional optional okay so greetings necessary. when we say necessary necessary when we say greetings so that time what comes in greetings according the time of the day you greet for example if you meet uh, people in the morning what you will say what greetings you will use in the morning good morning yes. good morning it will be good morning if you meet in the afternoon good evening good afternoon in the afternoon no good evening it will be good afternoon okay and if in the evening you will use good evening good evening. evening and when you people will use good night night at night okay but at, at night, night but at, at what time when you meet or when you uh, is there specific time to say good night yes ha huh. so when while going to bed flower ट्वेल्व it is good night no it is not like this okay uh, so greetings are necessary all you people have to think about this that without greetings you cannot just develop your dialogue for that notes have been added again in this teaching diary you have to go through all those notes also okay uh, 
uh, then uh, next will be people who are going to see the last question from this uh, first question it says the relationship between the participants in a dialogue can be formal or informal and you have to talk about this statement uh, true or false so what do you think is it true or false true 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 yes it's true, true. yes your people are right so when we people think about this relationship so relationship can be formal relationship can be informal also so what i mean by formal relationship you people have to understand that when you people talk to your teachers this relationship is formal because uh, you have to follow some rules and regulations to talk to your teachers if you are going to talk to your boss your colleagues that is formal because there also you are following some rules and regulations of the organization you people have to be very careful about the language and word that you people are choosing it is time bound it is topic bound you cannot talk anything here suppose that if you are just uh, in the classroom and lecture is going on suddenly you cannot change your topic for discussing about movies and songs and games and no you can't go like this here you people have to stuck to the syllabus only okay so that's why it is formal uh, so what i mean by informal situation or relationship it is that where you people can uh, just talk anything suppose that uh, two friends meet when uh, they meet they start their gossips from any topics to any topic they can jump from one topic to another means first of all they just start talking how are you and then they go about politics about movies about cricket about match about games about maybe uh, things happening around them lots of things and topics and words and whatever they can uh, discuss so this is informal so whenever you are in your family you, with your friends with your neighbors with your relatives this relationship is informal so in dialogue or in this conversation this relationship can be formal can be informal so therefore answer for this question it is going to be true so this statement is true okay so this will be your question number 1 and where you people are going to answer five mcqs you people have to choose option just now uh, we people are going to discuss about question number 2 so question number 2 it is about develop 8 to 10 dialogues on the given situations here any two you people are going to attempt and for this marks will be 10 marks for first question five marks for second question 10 marks are there so here three situations are given out of three you can choose any two and you can write down dialogues here okay so let's try to discuss that uh, how you people are going to attempt this question first of all this question is not mcq question so in question paper you are going to get only situations there uh, so while answering this question you people have to use pen and paper or notebook you people have to use you people have to write down dialogues on your notebook and then you people have to scan this you have to just make it pdf and then you people have to upload this pdf on the link which is given to you for submitting your answers okay so this way you people have to complete is it clear to everybody here you do not have options here you do not have any kind of other way to uh, submit your answer but only way you people have to use pen and paper and then you people have to write it down and then submit it upload it so uh, let's discuss the situation given here first situation is between the bank manager and a customer about opening a new account okay so usually this is general situation perhaps in our day to day life also you might have gone to the bank and uh, might have opened a new uh, account also so what procedure usually there is when you go to the bank at that time you uh, meet some people there and then they guide you how to just uh, open a new account so we'll try this uh, but let's discuss first of all that this is first situation so here you people have to imagine is it real situation no it is not real situation but you have to imagine that there is one customer who wants to open a new account in that bank and there is one bank manager who is going to guide that person how to open a bank account okay so this situation is this then uh, here you people can consider situation b is that between an office staff of the students section and a student who inquires about the scholarship even this is also a day to day situation where perhaps you may come across in our in your college in your campus that when you you people are going to submit scholarship form so lots of difficulties and problems that you face so you are going to discuss that your issues and your questions with this uh, one staff which is from office and you are going to discuss with it about how to feel what documents uh, needs to be submitted and uh, procedure and lots of things 
and here is the last uh, situation from this question paper it says between the librarian and a student who has lost a book of the library so in this case what happened that student went into the library he borrowed one book from the library but now case is that the student has lost that book and now he made to that librarian and then what conversation you have to imagine what that librarian will say what you are going to say how he is going to ask you question what you are going to answer so you have provided with situation only but what dialogues you have to write it will be up to you and in dialogue writing it is not the same answer for everybody okay here everybody's imagination is different uh what i think is totally different what you think is totally different everybody is thinking everybody's imagination is different so here responses which you people are going to write down it will be different from person to person so it does not have any fixed answer for such dialogues so therefore you people have to be very careful about this so question number 2 it is like this you people have to write down two dialogues one dialogue will be for five marks and uh, necessarily you'll get 10 marks Uh, for this dialogue writing if you uh, just attempt this question so while writing dialogue you people have to be very careful that uh, procedure is given or steps are given also how to develop your dialogue so uh, first of all we people will uh, just complete this paper and then we people will go for one dialogue how to write that dialogue okay uh, so i think that question 2 is clear is there any question regarding question 2 kunal ka answer hai ka no sir ha huh, okay if anybody is having doubt or if uh, someone does not understand you people have to ask me uh, if you do not get it all right so now let's go to the last question number 3 for your isc second and question 3 is about read the following passage carefully and answer the questions given below and this passage will be for 10 marks so your isc is going to be for 25 marks remember this 10 marks for passage 10 marks for dialogue and 5 marks mcq question like this you people will be going to attempt okay so let's see about this question now again this is very simple question i already told you that you have been trying such type of questions from your 8th standard that unseen passage usually comes in your exam in your 10th and your 12th also you people have attempted this type of questions so there is no difficulty but let's try to see go through such kind of questions here you have been provided with one paragraph you people have to read this paragraph carefully and then you people have to again read the questions which are uh, asked here and sometimes we do not understand paragraph in one reading so therefore you need to read it twice or thrice also sometimes then you people have to read the uh, maybe questions again and then you people have to go for answers so while answering you people have to be very careful usually student have habit that uh, they try to answer in a such a way that first they read question for example this first question is that state the importance of forest resources so this is the question that students read and then they will try to find out what uh, passage is about or where in passage where these lines are about for example here important words are importance of forest resources so they will start reading passage and uh, they will come to know that where there is any word which is specifically there they don't think they don't get meaning of passage or uh, anything about this but they will simply try to find out words which are like importance of forest resources only and if they could find suppose that they could find that uh, any words related to that then only uh, they will write down for example i found forest here so they will consider that the word forest is here so for answer one line after this and one line before this okay so their answer will start from this line to that line so they don't think that what answer is or what not and simply they will try two to three lines from the words which they have found from the passage similar techniques many of the student most of the students follow this technique only but which is not correct here so you don't do such kind of things you people try to understand meaning of the passage meaning of the words and also meaning of uh, what question is being asked to you and then only you people try to understand because these days or right now as a student you people are just going through this passage only 
but afterwards imagine that you have completed your graduation and if you have started working with organizations that so that time you people are going to receive some documents reports mails etc and in that case if you do not understand what mail has been sent to you what action you are going to take or what work you people have to suppose to complete so you will not understand anything so therefore it is necessary that when you read paragraph you read it for understanding first thing each and every word from that passage you try to understand sometimes there are new words and uh, you don't know meaning of those words also but in that case you people have to guess usually these passages are simple but uh, if you are planning to appear for competitive exams like mpsc upsc gate exam or ssc a lot of exams are there there also you'll come across with such type of questions so therefore it is necessary that you people have to develop your vocabulary try to uh, read this passage not only passage but usually also if people try to read newspapers stories reports magazines etc and if you have habit of reading then it will help you to understand meaning okay so therefore you people read this passage and then there will be questions here six questions are asked for 10 marks okay so accordingly you people attempt this question so is there any difficulty doubt question uh, for isc second paper okay so one more point left how to answer these questions okay so uh, you people will be getting passage in that online form and for answering questions i will let you know afterwards whether you people have to write it down on paper and submit or whether it will be also mcq that i will let you know so for question number 3 you people will be conveyed that how to answer them whether by writing it on pen and paper and uploading it or whether there will be short answer questions or whether it will be uh, mcqs that i will let you know afterwards okay so atta kunal ka shanka hai ka about isc second paper hmm? no okay so ensure everybody has no any difficulty it should not be that only few students they are paying attention and uh, they will write it down uh, properly but uh, there are some students who do not understand either and they do not uh, respond they do not react and uh, they don't take interest also so this way it is going to be difficult for you in the future the nasal kurat kharastar you have to be asked genuinely it is not any kind of uh, uh, feeling of uh, low or ashamed or something like this if i simply i don't know i have to ask this feeling okay i think that no one has no questions so now uh, better i will just uh, close this tab now and uh, we people will just uh, think about notes which have been provided to you now so let's see after this you people will think that 2.1 synonyms and antonyms uh, notes are here so simply you people have to think about it that you have to go through this list as i told you this uh, list is important to improve increase your vocabulary and uh, if you are planning to appear for competitive exams the questions which are asked in the such verbal ability there are questions based on synonyms and antonyms also so here you people have provided with list that you people have to read abandon desert forsake these are synonyms and one more column is about antonyms and in last column you people are going to think about level of this word level of this word it means that whether it is easy simple word whether it is medium word or whether it is a difficult word so based on this you people will get to know about this okay then uh, next one is synonyms and antonyms while thinking about synonyms and antonyms you people have to just find out if the words they are simple to you you need not to just note it down you just go through this list and suppose that this word that active okay so see uh, meaning of active i know and its synonyms energetic animated lively all these meanings also similar to it and i know its meaning or its antonyms lethargic idle sluggish this also i know in that case i need not to think about this word i will not write it down but now think about this word adamant so adamant is the word which i have not heard it before 
or adamant is the word which i have never read before and i don't know meaning also so in that case you people have to write it down in your notebook and then try to go for its synonyms so meaning of adamant it means firm or unyielding okay and then you people have to go for antonyms also that is maneuverable or yielding and this way you people have to try to increase your vocabulary it is not just for getting marks or it is not just for uh, studying for communication skills but it is going to help you to understand english in a better way also if you know more words if you know more synonyms and antonyms of the words your english communication is going to become more simple because uh, that number of words that you know based on that you will understand english spoken by other people and it will help you you also to speak english okay so this way you people practice it here you have been provided with a, num a number of pages are here i think that there are 13 pages it is not necessary that in one day you have to complete this so people can do uh, every day if you are just doing with 10 to 20 words that will be sufficient so within span of maybe one week one month you people will complete all those lists and uh, then you people will increase your vocabulary okay uh, similarly you can take help of dictionary online dictionary and uh, try to check meanings but uh, uh, if you are referring dictionary refer english to english dictionary and still if it is difficult for you to get the meaning in that case you people can use english to marathi dictionary okay so this is about um, synonyms and antonyms in fact there is nothing to teach shikone sar kasa kai nahi yacha madhe synonyms means similar meaning words antonyms means opposite meaning words and only practice is going to help you okay and even though if you have, have any uh, particular word which you are not able to understand for example here charming so in that case you are not able to get it or any synonym you are not able to identify delightful appealing enchanting in that case such words you just note it down and in next lecture you try to discuss it with me uh, in case of opposites obnoxious gross vulgar so you write down such words and we'll discuss them in next class okay so that was about 2.1 now we people will talk about another notes and that will be 2.2 now okay so this 2.2 it is about now prefixes and suffixes okay so in prefixes and suffixes usually there are some words and uh, these words are root words and if you are going to add some prefixes or suffixes to that word these words are going to be different their class is going to change sometimes their meaning is also going to change okay and this way you people can just uh, increase your vocabulary also so this again is related to increase your vocabulary uh, so let's try to pay attention that how we people can um, just go through this notes of prefixes and suffixes so first of all you people will be told a prefix is a letter or a group of letters that attaches to the beginning of the word and helps to indicate or modify its meaning so usually what is prefix prefix is any word or group of letters which is coming before that main verb or main root word and a is the example of such kind of prefix will be uh itself it begins with the prefix pre which means before okay so prefix ya shabdamade is pre ha kay lagalela hai prefix lagalela hai so pre means before it is quite important to understand what different prefixes mean as they can help to understand the meaning of any new vocabulary that you learn how your you do need to be careful as sometimes a prefix can have more than one meaning also so here some list and examples are given so first prefix is is ante so meaning of ante is before and if you see antenatal antenatal means before birth ante room means before room ante date means before date okay so these are meaning of this ante then similar another word but it is not similar but anti and meaning of anti is against or opposing when you say antibiotic opposite of biotic anti uh, depressant opposite of depressant antidote maybe if something is poisonous it's uh, some uh, medicine which is going to help you to cure out of that poison so that is called antidote 
then next prefix is circum so circum meaning of circum is around so when say circumstance something or some situation around you that is circumstance circumvent that is the particular uh, maybe uh, something which is circular in shape and movement that will be circumvent then circumnavigate going round in a direction that is called circumnavigate then next prefix is co and co means with okay so coworker coworker means the person who works with you that is coworker co pilot the pilot who is working with another pilot cooperation means helping uh, with other people that is cooperation then uh, next prefix is d meaning of d can be different it is off sometimes down it is away from also so d value means what so it is down value kami hone value kami hone deforest defrost it can be deforest also so uh, maybe cutting down of trees derail means what rail rail orun khali track orun khali ne that is derail demotivate it will be opposite of motivate so this is meaning of d then next one is dis again this meaning of this it will be opposite of or not so disagree so meaning of disagree it means that not agree simply not agree disappear means to vanish to be not there then disintegrate it is opposite of integrate okay disapprove means not to approve then uh, next prefix is em or en it means cause to or put into so embarrass means feeling shame encodes means to code something embed means to uh, just do something or uh, just develop something build something that is embed enclose means close or attach something engulf means just go through uh, some gulf okay so this is meaning of this m or n next prefix is is epi okay epi means upon or close to or after so epicenter means the center on which something comes out usually it is related with earthquake if it is epicenter of earthquake so from where that waves are coming out okay episcope okay so episcope that it tells that what close uh, something scope is having so that will be episcope then next is epidermis so epidermis again it will be taking about that after something so that will be epidermis then uh, next prefix is is x x means former manje agodar hon gelela or out of uh, in marathi you can call it maji okay so x president okay so the president which is earlier president right now he is not president but before few years back he was president that is called x president ex boyfriend i will not talk much about it because all you people know ex terminate so that is also you people are going to just see that someone who is terminated uh, earlier that will be ex terminate okay then uh, next one is extra extra means beyond or more than that is simple meaning extra curricular so means addition to curricular that is extra curricular extra ordinary it is means which is not ordinary that is extra ordinary more extra terrestrial so it means that more than terrestrial that will be extra terrestrial so you people have to think about that extra we call it extra curricular activities or extra ordinary or something like this then uh, next is four f o r e four is here and meaning of this is before again see that uh, different prefixes have sometimes same meaning or different meaning also so when it comes forecast so forecast means you are telling about what is going to happen usually it is weather forecast so you are going to uh, talk about what is happening about forecast whether it will be rain whether it will be cloud whether it will be storm and cloudy sunny something like this so forecast is you are going to talk about what is going to happen in advance forehead so which is before of your head that is called forehead foresee to see what is going to happen in the future that is foresee forward you having some words before of something that is forward and next one is foremost something which is most important that is called foremost okay then next is homo meaning of homo is same okay 
so next example given here homosexual means having uh, maybe of same sex male male female female that is called homosexual uh, homonuclear of same nuclear homoplastic of the same plastic so that will be some examples then uh, next is hyper hyper means over or above hyperactive means overactive and uh, here hyperventilate uh, it means again uh more or over uh, ventilate the next prefixes ill im in ear er or uh, their meaning of this ill im in ear is not impossible means not possible illegal means not legal irresponsible means not responsible indefinite means not definite again im and in its different meaning is into insert means uh, you are going to take in something import means you are going to borrow something inside means you are taking something inside okay infra means next beneath or below next is infrastructure means that below or the whatever you have under that will be called infrastructure infra means beneath infrared then infrasonic then uh, something which is below infra specific so that is also meaning similar if you understand the meaning of this then you will understand meaning of the words also then uh, next one is inter or intra which means between okay and examples interact interact means between two people usually it is conversation intermediate it is between two maybe levels or usually it is uh, between uh, basic and advanced that is intermediate then uh, next is intergalactic intergalactic between two galactic intranet between two computers that is called intranet the next prefix is macro it is not micro remember it is macro and its meaning is large okay and macroeconomics means large macro molecule means large molecule and now you have micro and meaning of micro is small microscope something that you observe small tiny objects microbiology biology which is divided into small topics that is microbiology microfilm small film microwave small wave something like this you people can take and for more details you people have to uh, take help of internet google youtube you can take and just be it more clear because right now we do not have that much even time also uh then uh, next is mid and meaning of mid is middle so mid filter means the filter who is at middle midway means the way which is in middle mid summer means in between summer miss means wrongly you people have to understand meaning of miss and then you people have to see misinterpret misfire mistake misunderstand so these are the some of the words that you people can uh find out in fact there are more words you people take help of internet and find out more words which are beginning with such prefixes then uh, next prefixes is mono and mono means one or singular so monotone means same tone ekat tone madhe bolna okay mono bro means single one bro monolithic means one lithic okay so maybe one only period then uh, next prefixes is non and meaning of non is not or without nonsense means not having sense non entity means not entity non descript means something that you cannot descript next is omni means which is everywhere it means all okay so this is meaning of this omnibus means the bus which is present everywhere omnivore means something that uh, who it's all kinds of food veg non veg both that is called omnivorous omnipotent means someone who is all powerful that is omnipotent the next is para para means beside so parachute means beside that whatever you have uh, that uh, instrument like umbrella that is parachute paramedic paradox so near or beside that is meaning of all those words the next prefix is post post means afterwards post mortem means after death what is the report usually we people get post mortem report so after death what happens that is that is post mortem then postpone means to take to the next date or next day so that is called exam or some schedule is getting postponed maybe something is planned today it is going to happen afterwards that will be postponed 
then next is postnatal there are two words prenatal and postnatal prenatal means before birth postnatal means after birth then next is pre pre means before prefix already we have tackled any affection uh, words which is attaching before that is prefix then predetermined means something which is you are determining deciding earlier pre intermediate so before that so these are the words then next is re re means again return means coming back again coming back rediscover means find out again retreat means try to tell once again that is retreat reunite means coming together once again then semi means half then semi circle semi circle means half circle semi final uh, you know semi conscious means someone who is not fully conscious okay a semi english is there additionally when you talk about semi english it means that not complete english but uh, maybe half english subjects are there that is called semi english then next is sub uh, meaning of sub is under submerge submarine sub category sub title super means above or over super food superstar supernatural super impose then therm meaning of therm is heat thermometer the instrument which we use to take temperature of our body that is thermometer thermostat uh, the uh, maybe something device which is uh, having heat thermodynamic because of the heat what changes you can find then trans means across or beyond so transport means sending something beyond uh, then next is transnational means uh, the things which are happening out of nation or beside nation that is called transnational then trans transatlantic something happening uh, beyond atlantic that is called transatlantic tri means three triangle tripod tricycle un means not unfinished unfriendly undone unknown uni means one unicycle universal unilateral and unanimous okay so this are some uh, words and examples regarding prefixes uh, i know that this time i'm just making it monotonous again that uh, because of short of time you people are not going to cover it in detail in fact i would have asked you examples and you people might have told me a lot but uh, because of short of time i'm not going to take that activity then let's uh, see about suffix so suffix means any letters or group of letters which is attached usually at the end of the word that is called suffix so the word ending with acy its meaning is state or quality so democracy so it is uh, state accuracy quality or this loncy that is also quality uh, then uh, next is al and meaning of al the action or process of so remedial denial okay then uh, trial criminal then anc or enc state or quality of so nuisance ambience tolerance then dome place or state of being again so freedom stardom boredom next is er or or person or object that uh, does a particular activity so here reader creator interpreter inventor okay so these notes are with you uh, with your time you people just try to find out meaning of these words and uh, try to find out more examples of this category uh, next is ism so ism means uh, doctrine or belief okay so this specified action is from this okay it is not here with ism this is with er or or meaning of doctrine uh, ism is doctrine or belief or any principle uh see judaism skepticism skepticism then next is ist meaning of ist person or object that does a specific action a geologist so is geologist person who studies 
the surface of earth that is called geologist patrogonist a sexist scientist theorist communist so all words are ending with ist so uh, you people try to find out meaning of all those words next is ity or ty quality of something extremity validity enormity the next is meant means condition enchantment argument and so many words there you will find with which are ending with m e n t then ness again this is also a state of being uh, next is heaviness highness sickness and happiness and all those things then ship that is uh, talking about position which is held friendship hardship internship partnership okay yes i win or ti win state of being again position promotion cohesion so now here are some words which can be verbs and which are ending with at means to become so mediate means to become third person here then uh, next is collaborate to have adjustment between two people then create the next is en words which are ending with en means to become sharpen strengthen loosen ify or fy means make or become justify simplify magnify satisfy ise or ize means become again publicize synthesize hypnotize okay so uh, able ible capable of being edible fallible incredible audible the next again al having the form of character of okay so fiscal thermal herbal colonial esqv in a manner of or resembling okay pictures ke means like a picture bulls ke grotes ke full means notable for handful playful hopeful skillful i c or i c l having the form or character of psychological hypocritical methodical nonsensical musical i o s o u s characterized by pious jealous religious ridiculous i s h having the quality of so squeamish sheepish childish i v means having the nature of inquisitive informative attentive less means without meaningless hopeless homeless uh, sugarless something like this y which is characterized by dainty beauty airy jealousy and here last point from this that ly which is related to or quality softly slowly happily crazily madly words or word it shows a direction towards afterwards backwards inward wise means in relation to it says otherwise likewise clockwise okay here anti clockwise also you will get both words anti prefix and wise suffix so anti clockwise it shows anti root word is clock here and wise is suffix anti is prefix okay so try to find out more words of this category and more examples from these prefixes and suffixes and accordingly all you people prepare okay so let me check if students are just active paying attention or not as i told you that it may be just one way i'm just talking and i'm not giving any chance to talk to you people but because of short of time you people have done it and already we people have our a uh, chapter test based on this so i will not spend much time on these things so immediately we people will go for 3.1 okay and 3.1 is about situational conversation sir ha yes सर परवा आपलं युनिट एस सेकंड झालं होतं हा मग त्यात ना प्रिफिक्स आणि सफिक्सचा थोडा प्रॉब्लेम आला होता सर 
काय सांगू शकता का म्हणजे ते करेक्ट असून सुद्धा तिने रॉंग गॅम म्हणून दिले होते आणि मार्क्स टेन मार्क्स दिले त्यांनी ते सब प्रिफिक्स आणि सफिक्स टेन मार्क्स ऍड केले नाही त्याने चुकलाय म्हणून एवरीबडी everybody is going to write down different words so it does not have a fixed answer key so therefore these questions were not mcq questions okay so i have checked manually what answers you people have written and i have added uh, marks to your test when you just attempted all words you people have written it down so that time uh, those words are coming to me and i have checked it and i have added marks to that so if you are thinking that it was showing wrong Uh, it was showing wrong for everyone those who have written one word also and those who have written five words so for everybody it was showing wrong reason is that it was not mcq test it was uh, short responses so therefore it was showing wrong for everyone but you need not to worry i have checked it and i have added your marks so whatever marks you have received that is for just question 1 and uh, for question uh, on prefix and suffixes you people will be getting marks from manually checking ओके ओके सर हां ओके ठीक नाउ लेट्स कम टू हियर सो डिस्कस व्हाट दिस यूनिट नंबर 3 इज अबाउट सो यूनिट नंबर 3 इट इज अबाउट ओरल कम्युनिकेशन एंड इन ओरल कम्युनिकेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ओरल कम्युनिकेशन सो कम्युनिकेशन हैज टू टाइप्स so there are so many types of communication but right now i'm going to talk about two types only and these two types are first one is oral communication and another one is written communication so both both types are very important as far as uh, if you consider uh lots of time we spent in oral communication but written communication if you are going to be professional you want to work with some organizations reputed organizations so that time you have to be habitual for this written communication also so in written communication lots of uh, activities come like you have to write down letters uh, last unit we people are going to talk about written communication like uh, letters you people have to write job application letter resume writing and uh, uh, maybe Uh, order letter complaint letter enquiry letter reports emails etc so written communication and oral communication both are very important but based on your oral communication you people will be just selected or rejected in an interview so interview is form of oral communication oral communication means where you speak with the help of words so that is oral communication and uh, what your knowledge you people have you express in the form of this oral communication okay and here we people are going to talk about this situational conversation now so situational conversation is what you people are provided a situation and you people have to discuss or develop conversation on that situation so usually it is dialogue writing in simple words you people have to understand it that it is dialogue writing okay so i think that uh, i have to confirm option numbers here so uh, dialogue writing we people will discuss in next class so see roll number 2 are you there option numbers i am going to read roll number 2 roll number 5 roll number 8 roll number 20 so 8 is present sir 8 is present okay then uh, roll number 32 35 38 39 42 60 so these are students who are absent for today and additionally there are some students who are joining for attendance only they are joining after 30 minutes 35 minutes 40 minutes also but let it be we shouldn't pay attention to them uh, we do not have that much time once again check roll number 2 for you roll number 20 roll number 32 35 38 39 42 60 and 60 
okay so uh, with this we people will stop here remaining part dialogue writing and uh, uh, maybe paragraph we people will cover it in next class thank you for joining today uh, i will end this meeting for everyone okay yes mustakin is there any hello sir uh... आता युनिव्हर्सिटी एक्झामचं टाइम टेबल आलंय त्यात कम्युनिकेशन स्किल सब्जेक्ट नाहीये सो हे मी पहिल्या लेक्चर मध्ये सांगून आलो की वी डू नॉट हॅव एनी काइंड ऑफ थिअरी पेपर युनिव्हर्सिटी पेपर नाहीये आपल्याला यस सर ओके हां सर असाइनमेंट सबमिट करण्यासाठी लिंक नाही सर टीचिंग डायरी मध्ये नाही दिली हॅव यू डिस्कसड विथ क्लास कोऑर्डिनेटर मॅडमला विचारलं का नो सर सर आहे लिंक यस सीएस तर नाही सर फक्त ओके सो ऑल सब्जेक्ट आहेत सर आहेत ना टीचिंग डायरी मध्ये आहेत सर हो सर आहे फक्त सीएस नाही सर सीएस च फक्त नाहीये का हो सर सबमिशन लिंक मध्ये जर गेला तर इंजिनिअरिंग मॅथमॅटिक्स मेकॅनिक्स सिव्हिल मेकॅनिकल फिजिक्स so uh, for engineering physics there are two times number 5 is engineering physics assignment submission is there and again number 10 engineering physics practical submission is there okay uh, for cs it is not there okay so i will ask or you people can also ask uh, your class coordinator she will add it hello sir ha ah, yes ha ah, bola uh, assignment cha pratyek page varti असाइनमेंट चा प्रत्येक पेज वर ते आपली साइन ते करायची का हो हो सो फॉर दैट यू ऑल यू पीपल फॉलो वन कॉमन फॉर्मॅट कसं असेल पाहिजे ते बघा पे अटेंशन आई विल सेंड इट इनटू चॅट बॉक्स मला प्रत्येकाला चॅट बॉक्स मध्ये पाठवलं मी ते फॉर एग्जांपल यू पीपल बिलोंग फ्रॉम डिव्हिजन सी सो यू पीपल आर गोइंग टू राइट ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल योर डिव्हिजन देन योर रोल नंबर इमीडिएट सपोज माय रोल नंबर इज 1 ओके देन यू पीपल कैन यूज अंडरस्कोर साइन देन देर विल बी नंबर ऑफ असाइनमेंट जर तुम्हाला मॅडमने एकच लिंक दिली असेल तर देर विल बी नो इश्यू जर सेपरेट लिंक दिली असेल तर इन दॅट केस इट विल बी नंबर वन आणि जर समजा अँड देन यू पीपल आर गोइंग टू ऍड युअर नेम रोल नंबर इनिशियल एक्सेट्रा सो दिस वे यू पीपल फॉलो आणि जर समजा एकच लिंक दिली असेल तर इन दॅट केस यू विल फॉलो सी देन युअर रोल नंबर देन अंडर स्कोअर अँड देन यू पीपल आर गोइंग टू मेन्शन युअर uh initial for example you people mention like this something like this you people have to follow this format manje sagrancha eka sequence ni yenar nahi tar mag pratyekani vegle vegle jar format vaparle tar mag mala ito organize nahi karta yenar kiwa mag mala te it will be time consuming activity for me okay आणि आज जे पेज असणार आहे तुम्ही जे असाइनमेंट लिहिलेलं असणार आहे तर त्यावरती सगळ्यात सुरुवातीला पेज नंबर यायला पाहिजे त्यानंतर तुम्ही तुमचं इनिशियल त्यानंतर तुमचं रोल नंबर आणि शेवटी साईन ही त्या प्रत्येक पेजवरती असणं आवश्यक आहे ओके कळालं का हा ओके अजून कोणाच्या काय शंका आहे ओके शुड आय एंड इट फॉर एव्हरी वन येस येस